Look, it's late winter and the Japonicas are in bloom. Japanese quince, also known as Corinomales nowadays. Lovely colour in late winter. It does actually attract some honey eater birds as well. And it has fruits as well. Where's the fruit? Show us yourself. There's a fruit there. Edible, edible for humans. They make a beautiful jam. Rather sour though. You can uh, cook them up and uh, mix them with apple for apple pie. If you're making an apple pie, just put one in. It'll give you an uh, extra sting. It's a bit like a lemon. Indeed, it has more, that's right, I remember now, it has more vitamin C than lemon juice. It does. That's Japanese quince, isn't it? Quite hard to cut, you'll need a sharp knife though, don't cut yourself. Let's go and look at some of the Japanese quinces in bloom. This one uh, doesn't have many blooms on it yet. Come for a look at the Japanese quinces. These are almonds, almond blossom. I planted them from one nut. Here are some Japanese quinces, not so showy on a cloudy day, but red enough. Not all their blooms are open yet. Hello B. Lovely flaming red anyway, really lights up a garden. It is, of course, much more, much prettier and brighter on a sunny day. It's a cloudy winter's day today. Late winter. Look at that red japonica. Would it have grown in Shintaro's garden? I think it would have. Lovely buds. Quite drought resistant, but it does need some summer water. Won't grow in the hottest parts of Australia. But it does very well. So nice. And it does attract honey eaters. It has enough honey to attract a bird. Are you going to focus for me intelligently? Probably not. How's that be? Let's go and look at some Japonica fruits. There aren't any on this bush. some japonicas here. I am trying to. I do have a few thorns mind you. They do have a few thorns. So it's well worth looking out for thorns. They make a beautiful jelly or whatever. Oh, cooked in another pie as I said. Make a beautiful paperweight actually and make your room fragrant. They make a beautiful fragrant paperweight. The whole room will smell of them. That's about it. A lot of them. Related to the quince of course. Some of them have been in the dirt but they're alright. Related to the quince and uh, fragrant like a quince, sour like a quince, more sour than a quince. And uh, they can be cut up, made into jam. You might like to save the seeds of some and grow your own. It takes a while, it takes a few years, but you never know what the uh, new offspring will be like. Like, I had one that had a slightly purple blossom. The blossom was slightly purple, it was beautiful. Instead of red, it was purple. See ya. I wouldn't want to be ya.